Chad Colby's look at agriculture technology comes your way next, brought to you by the IBM Watson Decision Platform. Combining AI with Internet of Things data to help agribusiness increase yields, improve quality, and drive sustainability. Have you yet stepped into the world of unmanned aircraft? Do you have a drone of your own? Chad Colby explains it might be easier to do that now. He takes a look at a small one and a relatively inexpensive one. I can't wait to show you a new drone this week. Hi, everyone. I'm Chad Colby. My go-to drone well over the last year and a half or so has been the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Now, as you see right there, that kit's going to cost you upwards of $3,000 by the time you buy the extra controller and stuff. My friends at Flying Ag suggested I check out the DJI Mini 2. Now, this drone has been out in the, in the previous versions, but it didn't pack the performance really needed for uses for myself or in agriculture, something you might use a drone for. But let me tell you, they have absolutely raised the bar with the second version. The controller is really slick. They made some really good enhancements to this. It's got an integrated mount there for your smartphone. The app is really, really smooth and easy to use. I'll show you that in just a minute. But I was really interested in the flight characteristics. This drone only weighs 249 grams. My goodness, a can of Coke weighs 370 grams. This thing is really lightweight. And a lot of times when you get lightweight drones, you give up performance and not necessarily flight performance but the output of the camera so this past week in terrible flight conditions you can see right there there's the METAR weather data from Bloomington 28 9 mile an hour wind gusting to 40 and just look at the debris in the field flying you can tell it's a really windy day this little drone was absolutely amazing so when I evaluate a drone, there's really two things I look at. One's the flight performance. How does it fly? How does it fly in extreme conditions? This thing gets an A+. It is so good. As you can see here, it's really doing the job in conditions that most of you, quite honestly, wouldn't even fly in. Now, in the right-hand corner, that's the screen recording of the app, and I've synced that to the video that I'm recording at the same time. I want you guys to know that that app, that's a new one too, and it's enhanced to me really easy to use. It's got a lot of those great features that you're used to, auto takeoff, auto land. You can switch it from stills to video, and you can adjust the camera, and, and, and those type of settings are all in there, but it worked really well. The other thing I look at when it comes to evaluation is the quality of the stills and the video, and as you can see here, this thing certainly gets a really high mark from my point of view. Now it's not A plus. This is not a three or four thousand dollar drone. This is a drone in that seven to eight hundred dollar price range and that's with a case and all that. But as you can see it's even got digital zoom. It's got a lot of great features. So especially with the holidays coming around and if you're looking for that great entry-level drone this is the one and it really looks great. For This Week in Agribusiness I'm Chad Colby. Chad's reports allow us to see how the technology is advancing. I remember it wasn't that many years ago, Mike, when he had a vehicle almost dedicated to carrying batteries. Absolutely. The whole back end of his pickup was batteries. And now it's smaller than a cell phone. <laughs> right. It's incredible. We'll have some more technology coming up a little bit later on. Stay with us on This Week in Agribusiness.